Hi, this is a very tall first generation Bronco. And um, this thing is just completely done to the nth degree. This is one of those vehicles that when you watch Barrett Jackson, you see him doing 90 and 100 thousand dollars. That's the quality of this vehicle. Uh, anywhere that you could possibly throw money, they did. And whenever you see the undercarriage, which I haven't really other than peeking under it, which is tall enough I can almost walk under it. And um, the interior, all the appointments on this vehicle, it's just totally astronomical what degree someone went to to achieve this vehicle in its present condition. So we're going to go over the engine compartment with you right now and point out uh, whatever I see. Uh, it does have power brakes, discs of course, um, power steering, air conditioning, a new modern compressor on it, high flow uh, uh, radiator and a new modern radiator compared to the original ones that these cars came with, Edelbrock aluminum heads, Edelbrock intake manifold, Edelbrock Carter AFB uh, carburetor on it, K&N cold air intake system, you can also see which has an aluminum uh, cap uh, intake system for the uh, uh, carburetor, new battery in it with a billet aluminum hold down bracket for it. Um, windshield, uh, windshield washer uh, container is still the way Ford had them out of the uh, uh, plastic with the uh, black cap. The radiator reservoir overflow that they've uh, put on this vehicle even has a stainless steel strap to hold it in place. Pretty much everything on this vehicle, I, I really haven't seen anything that's regular metal. It's either billet aluminum or brushed stainless. That's everything I look at is that way. Um, finned aluminum valve pan covers, uh, Ford High Performance. Um, obviously on the degree of uh, perfection that, that this thing is at, there's absolutely no leaks whatsoever on the uh, uh, valve pan covers, the uh, intake manifold, uh, water pump, timing chain area, uh, absolutely nothing. It has a new uh, air conditioning condenser in the front. Everything is finished to perfection. Even the uh, wheel wells themselves um, are a satin type uh, um, finish, but when you look at them, they're a white, pearl white bed liner material uh, is what they've used on it. And they've contoured the uh, inner fender panels to uh, uh, clear the suspension on this vehicle. It has a flame thrower, billet aluminum distributor in it, high silicone plug wires. Um, it does have the, the standard cast iron exhaust manifolds. It, they did not go for a set of headers on this guy. Uh, they left them standard cast iron uh, exhaust the way the factory uh, put them. Dual horns. Uh, uh, there, uh, cooler for the uh, uh, power steering unit. Um, brand new uh, two-stage uh, master cylinder on it also. Uh, a flamethrower uh, coil to match the distributor. Uh, again, everything on this thing is completely, completely over the top done. Even the finish underneath the hood, all your bracing and everything is pearlescent white. You really probably can't see it from the video, but everything is pearlescent white and finished to the nth degree. This is an absolute show quality vehicle. Not driver quality, this is show quality. Uh, and it is, does have the uh, 302 uh, Ford uh, V8 engine in it. So. Uh, Horsepower-wise, I have no idea. I'm sure it's substantial. Uh, these motors were small little uh, compact engines that produced a ton of horsepower. And with the addition of that intake carburetor and those Edelbrock heads, I'm sure that it's uh, way up in the three somewhere. So um, let's go around the rest of it, get down off our stepladder here and, and go around the rest of it and see what we can show you. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. And, uh, we have a really, really special presentation for you today. Uh, this vehicle is literally just the way Kevin got this. He got it off of a local uh, Florida owner. Uh, how he got it, I have no idea. But the, the car, we didn't even wipe it off. This is how the car came to us. Um, give you an idea of the size of this guy. Uh, I'm 5'9". So, gives you an idea of the size of this vehicle. But... Um, we're going to go over it and see what we can show you on it, and uh, this is the first time I'm really looking at it, so I got a rough idea when it comes to off-road stuff, but I'm not a perfectionist on it, you know. 
Uh, I'm not an expert at it, so I'm going to try to point out everything that I know and everything that uh, I, I can show you that's an upgrade on this vehicle, which is pretty much everything, so we're going to be here a while. The paint on this thing is white pearl, and it's not a creamy white or an off-white. It is a snow white pearl. A lot of metallic in it. It just glistens. Uh, you probably won't be able to see that in the video, but that is the paint that's on this, and it is everywhere, including under the hood. So the hood fitment itself is as precise as we've ever seen on any first generation Bronco that we've ever had. Everything on this vehicle is this way. You can see the, uh, the gap on both sides of it's about an eighth of an inch and it's almost precisely the same from front to back on both sides. The alignment in the front is just the way it should be. It has a real, real high-end set of headlights on it. I don't know who manufactures these but uh, we did have a, the same set, and I know they're very expensive. They're about a $750 uh, set of headlights. And uh, we had a set in an 015 Jeep that we uh, uh, traded, a, a lifted up Jeep very uh, similar to the same type of vehicle as this, only, only a lot more modern. But the headlights in that vehicle lit the road up like daylight, and these appear to be the same lights. It has a set of apparently brushed stainless type material that uh, uh, the uh, headlight basils, uh, the same thing, you can't see it again in the video, but the Ford lettering on the front of this is brushed also. I think it's the same lettering, the chrome, but somehow they've managed to brush it, burnish it to the point where it, it does have a burnished look instead of a just a thick, deep chrome look. Of course, the um, parking lots are absolutely flawless. No chips or marks or anything in the grill. This, this thing does, it's not going to have any marks anywhere on it. There's two holes here yet from the uh, uh, original license plate that would have been installed had this thing been down on the ground somewhere. The bumper, it, it, it feels like it's about 3 16 thick uh, heavy duty steel and uh, has provisions for uh, parking lights or uh, fog lights in it that uh, this, this person chose not to put in. Has a set of tow hooks in the front and a, uh, I don't know what they're actually called, I call it a cow catcher, but I guess it's kind of like a brush guard uh, system on it. Uh, again, there's two provisions here for auxiliary driving lights also for this vehicle. Uh, everything on the front end of this and the paint you can see is that white pearlescent and it just absolutely there isn't a deviation in this hood anywhere, a chip, a mark. Uh, again, I think what we're dealing here is a, an absolute show quality vehicle. This is not a driver quality. This is the guy that you see doing 100 grand at the auction. This is that guy. Um, fantastic front end of this vehicle. Absolutely fantastic. The finish on this bumper is the same as it is on the hood. Everything is done to the uh, uh, nth degree. Uh, you can see the size of the mass of this vehicle too, the size of the uh, tires from the front. There are a set of 20 inch rims on it and the uh, tires are, are gigantic, 30 inch uh, high and uh, I don't know how wide they are, they have to be 15 inches wide. Um, so let's do the side, see what we can find for you there. Okay, driver's side of our little but tall uh, first generation Bronco. Um, I'm going to take a little more time on this guy just because of what it is and the degree of uh, uh, perfection that someone has gone to to achieve it to this point. But you can see even the front fascia part where it mates up to the uh, uh, front fender, precise fit. Um, rubber molding that goes between the uh, wheel well uh, flares and the front fender. And I don't know if you can see it in the uh, uh, video, but this is a satin type of pearlescent white paint. This is satin. This obviously is a foot deep um, base coat, clear coat. This is more of a satin look. The fasteners are stainless uh, Allen heads. Um, <laughs> everything on this car is that way. Again, where it's Bronco, this is brushed. It is not a, a, a deep uh, uh, high luster chrome. It's more of a, um, a brush finish. How they achieved that, I don't know. And it appears to be stainless steel. Whether it is or not, I don't know. These are definitely stainless steel hinges on this vehicle. There's no question about that. It has tinted glass in the front. It appears to have the original wiper arms and blades on it. And I wish I could tell you what the windshield looks like. 
uh, from where I'm at, but I can't. Um, but I'm sure that it's going to be, once we get on the inside, we'll be able to show you the uh, condition of the top of the dash and the uh, transition where it goes to the uh, base of the windshield. Again, the mirror itself, they put smaller mirrors on this, uh, Ford-style mirrors. Um, it's a brushed finish. This is not a, a, a deep chrome, lustrous chrome finish. It's brushed. And so is all the uh, stainless around the uh, wing area, which is also tinted. The door itself, when you see the fitment, is just as precise. And we never have had a Bronco that had, had this type of precise fitting. Again, brushed stainless uh, door handles, brushed locks. Uh, again, look at, the, look at the fitment of this thing. This is a Bronco. This is not an uh, a e-body Mopar or a, a Camaro or a Chevelle or something. It's a Bronco. These things don't even fit together. And this thing is done to the nth degree. Again, you can see the fitment at the top. Same thing, high luster, uh, white pearl paint. Um, tinted side window also. Uh, same thing, satin flare on the side. One gas tank in this guy, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, just the rear tank, which is a, uh, it appears to be a little larger than a stock tank, which by the way, the tank is stainless steel also. Uh, stainless uh, filler uh, neck here. And again, we got 20 inch tires, really a nice dramatic looking design wheel um, for the uh, 20 inch uh, size tires, 38 inches high. A huge, huge tire for this vehicle. There isn't a front gas tank in this guy, and here's why. To get in and out of this, we have steps on it that come down. When you open the door, they're lighted also, and they have like a bluish uh, uh, purple light that comes down and lights the steps for you. And that's why there's no auxiliary gas tank underneath this door. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, the side of this vehicle is just as laser straight as you could possibly ever find. I mean, we just don't find this degree of perfection in these first generation Broncos. It's just not there. This one has it. The tires themselves are absolutely brand new and there's no question this was a show vehicle because as you can see it's never been used. And once we get underneath it from what I can see, you'll see why. But it still has the little tiny nubbies on the, on the front and the rear tires to show you that they're brand new yet. They've not had any uses whatsoever. Probably on and off a trailer and that's it. Fantastic side. Let's go out back see if we can find something there for you because there's nothing to show on the side of this vehicle except um, the nicest done uh, first generation Bronco that I've personally ever seen. Ever seen. And we've had a I don't know, about eight or nine of these already, and nothing to equal this. I mean, we've had them where, uh, you know, we've sold them for um, upper 50s for, the last three actually were in the 50s, middle upper 50s, and um, they were nice vehicles. They were absolute nice, fantastic, what I thought was uh, approaching the quality of a show vehicle. Not even close to what this thing is. It's just, this is completely over the top. How Kevin got this off the guy, I have no idea. Let's go out back. We'll see what's there. Okay, the back side of our first gen uh, Bronco. Again, look at the fitment of this. As precise as you could ever hope to have one of these vehicles. Brushed again, brushed stainless uh, uh, trim around your tail lights, which are just flawless. Obviously, you notice we do have a spare tire on this thing. It appears to be the same type of a bumper, probably the same manufacturer, about 3 16 heavy duty, really heavy duty steel bumper with a gigantic system for mounting this, uh, uh, this spare tire, which is the same size as the other four on this vehicle. Again, never down. It's, uh, it still has all the original little uh, hairs on it. Real neat locking system on this vehicle, so it can't possibly come loose. One neat feature, and I can't figure this out, it's on a shaft, so the tire actually turns. I don't know why, but it actually turns. Uh, but it's on about a one inch steel shaft uh, held on by huge uh, nuts and uh, a huge nut and bolt system. Uh, so it's a really, really nice, uh, substantial way, secure way of uh, mounting this tire, because this guy has to weigh a couple hundred pounds. Pretty heavy piece of equipment. Um, <laughs> Again, 
Well, here's something you'll like. The license plate bracket fits into the tow hitch. So if you're going to tow something, you have to pull the pin, take your license plate off, and put your drop. Obviously, you're going to put a drop hitch on it. I don't think anything has a trailer that high. But uh, fantastic system. It's a great idea. It hides the uh, class 3 hitch, but yet allows you to have a point to put your uh, uh, license plate. Again, tow hitches, tow loops in the uh, back to match the ones in the front. Everything done in that white pearlescent paint, snow white pearl paint. Tinted window in the back, brushed stainless uh, latching and hardware on the back of the uh, tailgate. Again, the, the gap is just flawless on this. You can't see it where Devin is, but it matches the gap on that side. Again, brushed stainless around the uh, tail light assembly on this side and uh, backup light, and the backup lights do work. Um, fantastic, fantastic back end on this vehicle. And again, the fifth tire, I, just over the top. Done completely, insanely over the top. We got one more side to go yet. Okay, last side of our little, little <laughs> first generation Bronco. Um, again, look at the fitment of everything. The way this top is spaced up, you got about I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch gap, it's not even an eighth inch. And then the alignment of the door is the same as the uh, other side. And the satin finish, all the stainless fasteners that you could... Uh, uh, there's not a single mark on anything. I found a, a, not, a, not a single chip, a mark, a scuff, uh, an imperfection in the paint, uh, blotchiness or anything, laser straight down the sides. Um, it's just one of those vehicles that you can't find anything that you could... Uh, say anything negative about it. Everything is done and finished to the nth degree. These rubber seals are a great idea. It adds a little bit of a contrast to it. Uh, it gives you a little bit of a difference. You can see from the uh, satin finished uh, flares to the foot deep paint on the side of the vehicle. Again, the wheels really set this thing off. I think they really could not have picked a better design wheel than they have at this point. And a 20 inch, I've never even seen 20 inches on. Most of the ones we get have 15s. In fact, I don't think we had one with anything except 15s so far. These guys are 20s with 30 inch, 38 inch high tires. And again, there's no sense rubbing my hands over the whole thing because there's not a single flaw that I can find, not a single imperfection in this paint anywhere. Again, steps with the light, where you'd, be, where you'd be getting in. Everything works and closes just as it should. Stainless uh, hinges like on the other side, the fitment of the glass, the fitment of the doors, everything is as precise as you could possibly ever find. Again, that brush finish that I really like uh, on every piece of uh, shiny matter on this vehicle. The door handles, brushed stainless, this is all brushed stainless. This appears to be brushed stainless or brushed chrome, I really don't know. Somehow they've managed to finish this chrome uh, to look and match the rest of the stainless uh, appointments on this vehicle. Bronco again on this side. And the fitment again on the front of this is just precise as could possibly be. <laughs> we went over this entire vehicle. I can't find an imperfection of any sort. I mean, literally, and this thing is almost the quality of a new Porsche or a Ferrari as far as finish-wise and fitment-wise goes. It's as nice as you'll ever find. Uh, the uh, uh, dark glass, tinted glass in this vehicle adds a little bit of a dramatic effect to it. Uh, tires, obviously, are um, absolutely insanely large and high quality. Uh, the, the material that they've used, uh, the brushed aluminum, for the 20-inch uh, wheels, uh, all the stainless fasteners, all the stainless appointments, uh, the fifth uh, extra spare in the back, the way they've done the front and rear bumper, and you'll see once we get in the undercarriage, actually, you can actually see it here now. It has a really dramatic suspension system on it, but I'll show you a little bit on top here because I don't know if we can even point this out whenever we're under, or, but we'll, we'll try but it has a set of uh, double shocks, quad shocks actually, two in the front, two in the back. So um, it has an adjustable coil over system that you would normally see on a Porsche or a Ferrari on the front. And it has a reservoir, a huge reservoir um, canister also for the uh, fluid in the uh, 
uh, the shock itself. Then it has another auxiliary shock, not quite as large, it's a little smaller one, but it also has a re reservoir canister uh, for the uh, fluid. So this is a serious off-the-road type uh, vehicle set up as a, uh, a show vehicle. Everything is brushed, same deal. I'm sure that's aluminum. These are probably stainless, actually. But I don't really know for sure. But um, they're a brush finish also. There's nothing shiny chrome on this. Everything has a brush finish to it. We've had a bunch of these. Um, I can't even count how many. I'm not sure about eight, eight, nine of them. I don't even know. Uh, this one is far and above the, the most uh, impressive one that we've ever had here at Hangsters. Uh, it's also going to be the most expensive that we've ever had. And we do have a couple other ones that are more reasonably priced. We have a nice blue one that we're going to present to you with a soft top uh, that's going to be considerably less money than this. And then we also have a brown one that's kind of a chocolate color in a hard top that uh, we're going to present to you also. And both of those are automatic steering brakes and air, uh, which is what this guy is. But this one is far and above uh, the most impressive one that I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of them at different shows. This is one that you take to a, a vehicle show, and um, it garners some real attention. The fit, the finish, uh, the way this thing's been addressed, it's, um, it's a show quality vehicle. It's not a driver quality, this is a show quality vehicle. It's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and I'd almost guess you're not gonna find another one of these available anywhere else look all you want but you're not going to find one to this degree if you do you're going to be into six figures for it and we're not going to ask that for it so take a look at your hangsters website because it'll be coming up for you to give us some consideration well we're in our show quality white diamond pearlescent first generation bronco Everything in this thing is so over the top, I can't even begin to describe everything. I'm trying my very best here to point out everything that's uh, uh, been modified or been changed or been upgraded. And uh, uh, it's very, very difficult. The one thing I do like, I'm not a chrome guy. I hate chrome. So for me to see everything brushed metal, that I like. And it's very, very high end to see that on a vehicle. Very high end. Um, door handles, brushed metal. If you notice, the interior itself, the, the, the bucket seats in this vehicle and the bench seat in the back are diamond tufted um, material. It's sewn, it's, it's black uh, vinyl with white stitching. Really contrasts to this vehicle. Really looks good. Uh, Jesus, I don't even know where to start. Everything's brushed metal on the uh, uh, vehicle no matter where you look. Even your uh, stainless around the uh, uh, wing areas, uh, the, the center of the steering wheel, uh, the dashboard, everything brushed metal. Uh, tufted uh, door panels also with white stitching. Uh, diamond plate dash panel for it. Normally these are just a, a piece of tin that uh, Ford's put in from the factory. This is a custom built, you can see, um, welded up out of aluminum, um, custom dashboard in it. It has a neat, really neat analog style dash in it that lights up blue, which you'll see whenever we do a drive in this vehicle. But it has a quadrant of gauges in it. It does have um, a fuel gauge, a temp gauge, amp gauge, and the oil pressure gauge. Also has a tachometer and a speedometer, and everything lights up a, uh, like a lustrous blue color as the uh, um, lights on the uh, uh, steps that come down does have the air conditioning ducts, four of them, one, two, three, four, that uh, uh, keep the uh, passenger compartment cool. Perfect set of uh, sun visors still intact. Upgraded, brushed stainless, of course, everything. Um, shifter for your high and low range and your uh, transfer case. Brushed uh, handle for the uh, automatic transmission. Everything in this vehicle is so high-end, I, I, I I've never seen anything like this before. Seats are, have recliners on them. It has cut pile carpeting, something you would see in a high-end uh, vehicle. Even the kick panels are absolutely flawless in this vehicle. There's nothing in this vehicle. Uh, it has uh, diamond-tufted uh, panels on the sides. 
that go on to custom done diamond plate, white pearlescent of course, side panels that uh, I'm sure are insulated from the outside, stainless fasteners for the top. Everything on this thing is so high end, I, I, I've just never seen anything done to a, a degree like this, especially a, uh, a first generation Bronco. Uh, it's something that someone does to a, a show car, in this case it's a, a show uh, sport utility, but it is the highest grade little first generation Bronco I've ever personally seen. It's a definite show quality vehicle. It's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. We haven't priced it yet. It's not going to be cheap, but you're not going to be able to find another one to duplicate this one. If you want a show vehicle, that all you got to do is take it from us and put it in any show that you want to enter it in, then this is your guy. This is going to be a vehicle that uh, uh, is, is incomparable. You're not going to find another one to compare it to. Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida. First generation Bronco. What we have, uh, let's see what we have. We have a horn that works. We have a left turn signal functioning. Okay, now we have a right turn signal functioning. We have oil pressure up to about eh, 55 pounds, 58 pounds, something like that. Uh, temperature just starting to go up about 150 degrees. Then we have um, a little over half a tank of fuel, running about uh, 14 uh, uh, volts there. Tachometer functioning as it should. We have, let's see what else we got. If we were a wiper, where would we be? Let's try this. We have wipers at work. Uh, guess that's it. We'll go for a ride, see what we got up in the air, there's no question about that. Uh, it goes down the road straight though, and it ends on the wheel. Definitely, uh, <coughs> tranny shifts as it should. As Dee said, if you hear a little bit of noise, a little bit of rattling, it's because, uh, I don't know who to blame it on. We can blame it on Blame it on Jeff. I forgot to latch the rear window, and you got to crawl out of this thing. So I'm not going to stop and crawl out of it. But the rear glass, where you latch it, it Devin just noticed it's a latch on the uh, driver's side. So if you hear a little bit of rattling, that's what you hear because it's not latched entirely. But the vehicle runs fine. It goes down the road as it should. Uh, the gauges all function as they should. Uh, it shifts first, third gear, first, second, third, just the way it should. Uh, very impressive vehicle. Certainly getting a lot of looks, I know that. a very, very special uh, little first generation Bronco here at Daytona Beach, Florida at Hangsters. And um, the, the outside presentation on this uh, thing took us a little longer than normal because of what it is. And it's probably going to take a little longer for the undercarriage of this also. Um, the paint on the outside of this vehicle is pearlescent white. And it's pearlescent green uh, underneath here on all the uh, uh, structural, the, uh, the suspension items that are with this vehicle, all your suspension arms and bars and rear uh, front and rear differential, uh, brake drums, backing plates, uh, uh, spindles, pretty much everything. Everything's been uh, painted to a, uh, a high degree of, uh, of perfection on this vehicle. You can see it has a huge, huge uh, stabilizer steering link in the front. It um, Everything's brand new. Everything is done to the, the nth degree. Uh, the backing plates are all uh, pearlescent uh, green. The rear differ front differential the same way. You can see there's no leaks or anything on it. It does have a front sway bar on it. And the links, all your associated hardware is everything uh, pearlescent green. The frame itself is more of a um, 
I'm going to call it like a, a medium gray, a silver gray color. You know, they've done it to accentuate uh, the rest of the items on this vehicle. It wouldn't look right, I don't think, if they would have painted it all green. It would have been almost too much. If you notice in the front, it has a set of, and I don't know the manufacturer, I'm just going to guess they're a, a, a Fox style shock, but they're uh, aluminum body shocks, a huge set with a double set of springs. So you have a softer spring until it reaches a certain point of compression and then it goes into your harder spring. So it'll give somewhat of a resilient ride and a, and a decent ride as long as you don't hit anything really, really hard. If you do, the secondary set of springs, the way they're stacked pr front and back on this vehicle, will go ahead and uh, compensate for that compression. But uh, piggyback shocks, two of them in the front and also two in the rear. And again, you can see everything on this vehicle is done to the nth degree. Obviously, new universal joints on this uh, front drive shaft that comes off the transfer case. It appears that there's a stainless uh, inspection plate side plate on that. The exhaust system itself out of this 302 is stainless steel. And it's a double set of pipes that go into a Flowmaster or a turbo stainless steel muffler also with a single, appears to be about a two and a half inch outlet on it. The um, engine itself from under the here, you can see has a, uh, uh, a Moroso deep pan on it. I'm going to call it about an 8 quart pan. It may be a little bit more than that, but we'll call it 8 quarts for just sake of discussion. The standard Ford uh, starter on it, the original style steel uh, cooling lines that go forward from the uh, transmission to the radiator. Real deep transmission oil pan on it. It's, uh, it says PA, I believe, PA oil pan. I haven't heard of them, but I'm sure they're a pretty high-grade company. It looks like a nice finned aluminum cast oil pan. Uh, all the structural supports on this thing are done to the nth degree. Everything is painted. Everything is uh, accentuated in this green uh, pearlescent paint. Uh, again, the frame is like a battleship gray color done the same way. It's all finished. Uh, everything's been uh, blasted and cleaned and, uh, and put back to original condition. Stainless steel brake lines, uh, stainless steel and rubber fuel lines on it. There's a uh, electric pump in the, in the line itself. Uh, again, you can see the uh, calipers, the rotors, uh, your front U joints. Um, everything on the front end of this car is absolute show quality and brand new. Nothing has been uh, left unaddressed. Everything is done to the nth degree. Obviously, there's no leakage whatsoever on the engine, bell housing area, or transmission, or tail shaft. Uh, it goes into the transfer case, comes out of the transfer case. There's no leaks there. Again, new U-joints in that area also. Uh, some type of a four-link um, front suspension with hind joints at all four corners. Uh, again, everything done, though. To the nth degree, I don't see any way that you could possibly uh, spend any more money or do something to more of a degree of perfection that's been addressed in this vehicle. <clears throat> We're halfway through it. Uh, the floor pans, uh, everything on this vehicle is as it was when it left the factory. Uh, all your ribbing, all your structural supports, everything is still intact just the way it was. Again, the front tank is missing on this side because of the uh, uh, electric uh, ironing boards, running boards, steps that. Uh, go down, but it, uh, it's a very well uh, executed uh, uh, job on putting this uh, Bronco back to this uh, this degree of show quality. It's, it's absolutely a fantastic vehicle, absolutely fantastic. Uh, we're halfway through it. I can't even, uh, you know, other than pointing out, uh, you know, everything being new, everything being uh, addressed and painted and, and refined to the nth degree. Uh, both mechanically for your engine and drive line and also for all your suspension items. You can see that there's absolutely no way you could get this uh, vehicle any more precise than it is. Uh, let's do the back half of it and then uh, we're going to go for a ride and see what this guy runs like. Okay, second half of our little Bronco, or big Bronco in this case. The um, framework in the back is the same as it was in the front, just totally undisrupted. Very, very well finished in like a battleship gray. Um, enamel type paint on it. Uh, again, the uh, exhaust uh, uh, terminates uh, behind the rear differential here, which happens to be a 9-inch heavy-duty Ford. 
Again, you've got your link suspension in the back here. It has an adjustable and a sway bar in the back with uh, three different adjustment points on it. And the shocks in the rear are the same as they were in the front. It has a double, sprack, double stacked uh, uh, springs for compression, which are adjustable. These are totally 100% adjustable shocks. And um, reservoir in the front shocks, which are the big heavy main shocks, and then also the supplemental shocks in the uh, rear, same thing. They have a uh, uh, reservoir uh, for the uh, oil and gas and them to their nitrogen shocks for sure. Uh, gas tank, I'm going to call it stainless steel. Even the uh, band around it is a uh, brushed stainless steel. Everything has been addressed in a brushed finish. There's nothing chromey or shiny on this vehicle. Everything is a brushed satin finish. Gives it a lot of pizzazz. It just has a lot of class to it. Drum brakes in the rear, they've chose to stay with them for one reason or another. Uh, they're also painted uh, uh, pearlescent uh, green. Uh, this vehicle is just done absolutely to the nth degree. Uh, this cover is a, it's just a fake cover on the back. It uh, does have a third member that uh, comes out the front, so this is just uh, something to give it a little nicer uh, uh, look. Uh, the vehicle is just... <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. This is uh, kind of new to me. I'm not into four-wheel drive stuff, but uh, whenever you see something done, to this degree of perfection, you have to you have to really uh, take note. I mean, I, I I can't imagine there's any place on this vehicle that you could throw any more money or any more high end material than what you see in this vehicle right now. There's absolutely nothing on this thing that is out of place. There's nothing that leaks. Uh, there's uh, nothing that you could upgrade it to. Everything that could be stainless is stainless. Everything that's been Modified suspension wise uh, has been. It's got sway bars front and rear. It's got a hell of a power plant in it. Uh, everything on this vehicle is, is just over the top. It's a vehicle that's available here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, and I'm sure that there's not another one available to this degree in this quality anywhere. So take a look at this because it's not going to be on the market very long. We've had a bunch of them, and this is one that is this much higher grade-wise than anything we've had before, and the other one sold for very, very, very uh, quickly. So uh, this is a this is a show quality vehicle. This is not driver quality. <clears throat> it's not something that somebody was going to take out in the mud and use or uh, take on the beach and use. This is a this is a definite show quality vehicle, done to the nth degree with uh, the highest quality components that money could possibly buy. That's what you have.